I'm not sure you're going to like my answer, and so I need to apologize. I hope I can apologize up front. When I meet with people, it's often a very emotional meeting. They will talk to me about how tragic their life is. They will say how awful it is to be heavy, how you, Dr. Rutledge, cannot imagine what it's like. Uh, and then often the conversation will go into the next step, which is, and I've tried really hard, I've tried all kinds of things. Uh, sometimes there'll be tears. You know, people will say how awful it is and I've tried everything. Uh, they will then sometimes say, you know, I would do anything to get out of this problem. You know, I would just, you know, I would give my right arm, I would swim the deepest ocean, climb the highest mountain, I would do anything to get over this. And uh, then I hopefully listen uh, compassionately and then say, well, well I, I've got a solution. You know, a 30-minute surgery, you're out the next day, but you have to take a vitamin tablet. And they go, oh, well, I can't do that. <laughs> And you're going, but just a minute ago, you were telling me how tragic and difficult this problem is. And my bias is you have to take a Prilosec tablet. And you should kind of just say you're getting a tremendous uh, benefit, according to what a lot of our patients say. This is a, a, you know, if you quote some of my patients, miraculous, unbelievable, amazing, you know, they use all kind of adjectives. And in return, you have to take a Prilosec tablet. Mm -hmm. What I would say is, you know, to my patients, uh, you know, it's not, we're not in, you know, it's not fantasy land. There are some trade-offs. you got to take a tablet. To me, that's a reasonable request of the patient. So I would say, you know, just like you have to do homework to be successful on a test, you could, you could ask your, your teacher, you know, this homework business is pretty annoying. I was wondering how I could skip the homework and still get an A. And you're going, they're kind of related. They're stuck. So I would say. I do that all the time. You, you hear that? Do you, is that do, no, seriously? People ask you that? Yeah. <laughs> week, week 14, what can I do to get an A? I haven't, <laughs> I haven't done any studying. Oh, right. <laughs> I don't want to read the book. It's kind of an, and how can I get an A? And so I think if you think of any therapy that treats obesity, think of the therapies like exercising at a high level of intensity for four hours a day. I mean, that's probably going to work, but that's very demanding. Going to Weight Watchers every <coughs> week for the rest of your life on Wednesday nights for the weigh-in, that may or may not work, but it's pretty demanding. The MGB has some things that are necessary, and one of them is taking that pill. So I would say, and I hope this is not, you know, too harsh an answer to your question, which is take that pill. I, I don't mind it. I was just seeing if there's any sense. And it's a good question. I kind of went off that because you're not fussing about it, but you're asking just, hey, well, if it's an easier way, I'll take it. My bias is we have a lot of people who see the requirements, like don't drink soda pop, don't drink alcohol, don't smoke cigarettes, and when they face that, they say, I want the MGB, but I want to get around it. I don't want to do the homework. And what we say, there are some things that go with it that are hard. Um, there are dangers. You can get an ulcer and gastritis. You can get too thin. That's one of the dangers of the surgery, right? You can get you can get too thin, right? It's one of the as dangers. As hard as it seems. It's, you can't believe it when you're yeah, heavy. Really, when, when you say that, but truly, you can get too thin. You can get too thin. That's a terrible, tragic complication. <clears throat> it is inherent with the power of the surgery. Not only can it make you lose weight, but it can be so powerful, it can make you lose too much. On the other hand, the, the surgery itself can stumble and fail to get the weight loss that we want. So, Professor Jellin here, we failed failed to bypass enough, failed to get him the weight loss that he wanted, and that's a terrible failure of the surgery. So that pill is part of, in my way of thinking, there's a kind of a deal which goes along with it. I don't know of an easy way out. Now, the turns out that the pill, the Prilosec, is an antacid. It's designed to turn down the acid, and uh, that the Tums is also an antacid. And so if you feel really driven, you can skip a Prilosec every once in a while and replace it with some of the Tums. She gets mad because I, I just, it's hard to take pills and I spit them out. But those Prilosec are a dollar a piece. I told her that. <laughs> it's a dollar if you're spitting out. <laughs> well, I think I'll just, you know, stay out of that. Well, he just has a really sensitive gag reflex. It's he? true. Right. And a lot of people do. Good morning. A lot of people do. It's a real serious problem. And what we say is, you know, you just have to There's buck no up. There's no chewable equivalent. Then no. Okay. No. And oh, imagine, yeah, imagine again, imagine that he had a heart transplant. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know, true. imagine he had leukemia, right. and if he didn't take that pill, the leukemia would come back, and you would die. I mean, my opinion is, if you were in that situation, I'd flat take that pill. Yeah. I would choke and cough, cry, roll on the floor, but I'm taking that pill because I'm not letting the leukemia come back. In our case, the Prilosec is moderately serious. Take the pill. Okay. Whatever it takes, take that pill. And again, the flip side is, if you don't take it, now it doesn't, it's a little different because if you skip a couple of Prilosecs, you're not going to be in trouble. That's no big deal. But over the long term, there is a deadly complication of the surgery. It's called a perforated ulcer. And you guys were in clinic. Bob was here. He had a perforated ulcer. It can happen. It's deadly, and it can take your life. You don't want that. Take the pill. Now, if you skip every once in a while, it's no big deal. And how long you have to take, it's up in the air. This surgery, like taking an aspirin tablet or any other therapy, has got a risk. Everything has a risk. This has got a risk, and I apologize. I, I, I would like to say, oh yeah, there's an easy, chewable tablet version. You can have that. I don't have that to offer, and so I would say, as unpleasant as it is, you know, step up and take it. Like Mary Poppins says, take it with something that's enjoyable, like a spoonful of diet jelly or jello. You know.